awesome. So I saw a couple of people come on. Jazzy Janae, who was an instructor, uh, been with Pearl School of Modeling for years. Jazzy. President of Pearls, Empress Yana. Um, Coronica, thank you. She said you two look amazing. So being that we have some models on the call, I know one of the common questions that come up, when you're shooting with a photographer, um, TFP, what is that? Testing, what is that? for the models. So could you kind of go into those things for us? Okay, so testing came out of a term called the test shoot. And it's basically where you um, work with um, a model who you're not quite sure is, you know, um, going to get on with the agency or not, but you just want to try to see if they can um, pull out what they need to pull out on a shoot, um, or if they're going to um, really photograph very well. You know, because sometimes you see people in person, you think, eh. But then when you get them in hair and makeup and on set, I mean, it's like um, it's like a caterpillar and then a butterfly. You know, it, it's it's amazing the change in them. So it's just basically doing a test to see if that model is going to perform really well in front of the camera and be able to provide you with some great uh, and amazing looks. And so typically a lot of newer and younger uh, models will do this um, to build their portfolios. They'll test with a bunch of photographers and they'll give up their time and the photographer will give up their time um, Sometimes there are test rates, which is like a reduced rate that a photographer will charge you to um, work with them. So a uh, test can either be a free test or it can be a paid test. And then um, everybody, you know, usually collabs. You know, you may find a makeup artist that needs somebody that has that particular look. And you... Um, she she collaborates and gives up her time. You know, the stylists may give up their time. Everybody just really does this big collab to create this project that works in everybody's portfolio. Because the thing about a portfolio is it's always evolving. It's all it's a continual thing. You don't just shoot and just have a set portfolio. It doesn't work that way. Trends change, style changes. So you have to keep an updated look in your book. And testing is the one of the ways that you do that. Mm -hmm. And you as the model change as well. You don't want to pick exactly. it up. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> then they're hiring you and they're like, wait a minute, you know. <laughs> you don't look exactly the same. So, yeah. Um, right. Thank you for breaking that down. So I like that you said, you know, there's the free TFP and then there's rates with, with certain photographers. So contractually, what happens with that? Who has ownership of those photos and how can a model use it and how can a photographer use it? Because one thing that stood out to me when you mentioned uh, following all of these different celebrities that they trusted that you weren't going to sell them to the tabloids. So how does all of that work? Well, typically, if a photographer creates the image, they own the image. And so they will usually retain the copyrights to the images. Now, they will grant the model usage of those images for their purpose for modeling, meaning the model could not then take that image of themselves and sell it to a company to use for advertising and stuff like that because they don't own the image. The photographer that created owns the image. So basically, um, it's all, I mean, sometimes